Yeah, good. Okay, I want to share with you a story that happened to me on the plane. Everyone knows when I go to Chutzar, I always come back with some good stories. Right. Um, so, I was on the plane. I re- I'll tell you the truth. A lot of people, they hate davening on the plane, but I really like davening on the plane. I find like some of my best davening years on the plane. And I base it on the Chovos Levavos. The Chovos Levavos says that the more Tuma is in the world, the harder it is to daven, the harder it is to get closer to Hashem. Yeah? Now, this is my own theory. I, don't, I haven't heard it from anybody else yet. But it seems to me that the higher you get you know, away from this world, that you know, there's less Tuma at 30,000, 40,000 feet. So that's my... Yeah, okay, it's true. <laughs> no, I, can't, I can't tell you that for sure, but down here. <laughs> okay, that's true. Okay, a little bit. It probably has more tumma than than Yishlaim uh, Yerakedish, no? Okay. Anyway, I'm just telling you my words there. I'm not telling you you have to accept this. Okay. Anyway, in any event, it was. It's always a tough flight when you leave um, New York at 11:45 um, p.m. and because by by basically by the time they serve their meal, and you know you went to sleep, it's time to wake up already. Right. So I tried to beat the system a little bit. I didn't, I just got on the plane, I went straight to sleep, I didn't eat a meal. And I woke up three hours later, I was able to broke Hashem Davin, say Kurbanos, uh, wake up a couple other people, tell them it's time to Davin. <laughs> and, um, but not loud, I didn't scream, I just said. No, they asked me to. You know, so, anyway. The point is like this, the point is I was in the middle of Shimon Esrei, yeah? And I was like, I had asked the flight attendants, the women, you know, who seemed to be a little bit more um, who seems to be like nice what ladies there. Praise the flight. Thank you for all your help. I'm just going to dive in now. Fine. Okay. I'm in the Lushman Esrei and suddenly like this male flight attendant comes by and he sees me and I started seeing like, like uh, I started seeing smoke coming out of his ears. You know, and I'm diving on the plane. Now I'm in the middle of Shimon Esrei. I was like by, uh, um, you know, Lamal Shinim, Alti Sigma, that one. Uh, you know, coincidence. And Lamaisa, the guy starts screaming at me, he says, you must sit down immediately. It's absolutely forbidden to daven on an airplane. You know, it's a Isser Gomer and you have to listen to the crew. Okay. So I'm thinking like, what do I do now? You know, I'm in the middle of Shimon Esrei. So I remember the Mishnah in Brachos. It says, even if there's a snake wrapped around your leg, you still keep davening. Now you have to look at the Mephash there. Obviously, it's not talking about a boa constrictor because you do stop, you know. Or actually, if there are boa constrictors there, how to deal with boa constrictors. But in any event, I decided that I would just keep going, you know? So he just kept screaming at me, you know? I told you to sit down! You're a Russia, you're this. He started listing off all of my kistronos. He must have spoke to my wife. And um, so, uh, like, okay, I said, look, I'm davening Shimon Estray. I'm not doing anything wrong. And, um, and that's it. Okay. So, um, Lamaisa, um, after a couple of minutes, he just gave up and he went back to sit down. I kept davening and then I just eventually sat down. But it made me think a little bit, like, did I do the right thing or did I do the wrong thing? I will speak about that uh, very soon, right? But one thing I took from this, you know, Avram Avinu, right? It's called Avram Ivri. Why was it called Avram Ivri? Because all the world is on one side and he's on the other side, right? Lamaisa, um, I don't think this person was so upset it wasn't really the davening, yeah? It was more, number one, maybe I just, he felt he had a need to control. Or number two, he doesn't daven and he felt it was like a um, insult to his way of thinking, his way of life, and etc. So, Lamaisa, I think it was the right thing to do. I think um, I'll get scar for being um, brutally attacked and, uh, and this. But it's always a... Um, Oh yeah, I had a suffix. Maybe it's Pikuach Nevesh. Maybe this guy's going to kill me. But I decided that, you know, if he kills me, then, you know, um, probably he'll get into trouble. So he probably won't do it, uh, hopefully. Uh, but in any event, always a person, we spoke about Shidri. A person always has to think, just because somebody is screaming at you and yelling at you to sit down, doesn't mean you have to do it. A person always has to make Cheshbonus and think, Amen, Kainer